So lately I've been craving Kasama. If you don't know Kasama is, it is the first Filipino restaurant to get a Michelin star and it happens to be in Chicago. I am going for my birthday and they don't take reservations for breakfast or lunch and we waited three hours in line outside so we will be doing pickup. So let's see see what we want so i want to try i want to try the breakfast sandwich because i haven't had that yet we missed it by like 10 minutes um i'm not the biggest fan of the sausage so we're just gonna do their hash brown egg and cheese nice i know that bobby wants lumpia for his so we'll do that Their pastries are so good. And they're already like running out. It's, they've only been open for an hour and they're already out of some of them. Like out of stock, Boston Cream Brioche. Already out of stock. And they have two ube ones. I tried the huckleberry one. I want to try the other one. Yes, I would try their ensamada. And Bobby wanted, what did he want? I feel like they're already out of the lemon, pecan, ham pie, and only croissant with strawberry jam. They've been open for an hour. What did he want? Is this it? I think he won the citrus poppy pound cake with rhubarb and cream. Crumb fresh. Okay. And then the last thing I wanted is they have like really interesting drinks. I've tried their Oh Hot Yam ice before. It didn't have as much of an ube flavor as I would have liked. Um, but I saw they have red bean sesame cold brew, all three things I'm obsessed with. And they let me substitute oat milk, so we love that. So that's what we're gonna order. We'll see uh, when we get there. Time, I guess I should get ready and look a little bit more presentable. <laughs> You know what we're just picking up takeout so it's a no bra type of activity you know Nothing like water that's been sitting out all night. Craving something a little small for Brecky, so let's let's get something. My quality of life goes up with more fruit I eat, so I always try to have at least one fruit in the household. It is almost time for us to leave for Kusama. I think we're gonna go together because one, I cannot confidently parallel park, which you'd think living in Chicago I could. Everywhere I go has parking spots I don't have to parallel park in, so. Yikes. But it'll just make it a little bit easier, so. Let's go pick up our brekkie.
got the goods. This is the red bean sesame latte. I'm trying to mix it up. Oh yeah. We got the lumpia. Yum. We have Why are there two sandwiches? There's an L and there's an H. Alright, this looks like mine. What is this? Bobby, they gave us an extra breakfast sandwich. Sorry. Oh my god. Free breakfast, Sammy. I don't know what this is, but it's ours now. So looking back, it's def definitely the L is for Longanisa and the H is for hash brown. I just, the dots were not clicking. That's not the saying. It is too late for my brain to be working, but you, you know, you know what I mean. But that's what those stood for. And then the main attraction. Look, wait, what did we get? Okay, this is right. Okay, I was like, did they mess this up? So on. Um, this is the ube and cheese ensamada, and this is Bowie's like poppy seed citrus thing. Look how good those look though. Can we talk about how we got an extra breakfast sandwich? Crazy. All right, let's eat. It's like a light, oh, it's not the sausage. It's like blood sausage, but it's not like the sausage sausage. It's like ground up. Oh, so that's probably better. Then. It's more of a patty. It still looks mighty bloody though. <laughs> okay, look at what we discovered in the pastry. Wait, it's focusing on you and not me. I'm Hello. more important. Hello, folks. <laughs> look at what we discovered. I can't see myself, but I am on camera. Do you see? Focus, focus, focus. Focus. Focus on this. Look at what we discovered. Oh All right, it doesn't want focus. My but there's ube. It doesn't have <laughs> It's literally focusing on you. All right, I'm going to try my one things and then we'll just eat and I'll do a little. Um... That's the crunch. Oh, yeah. I like how thick this egg is. <laughs> With three kind of freaks me out. <laughs> but I like it. You want to try it? That's okay. I'll, I'll hold off for now. Okay, we're gonna try. I'm just demolishing the pastry. it. Pastry. This Olympia. Dude, that's just so much better than waiting. No. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You need to try this. It actually tastes like ube. Um, that's it. So, lumpia, 10 out of 10 crisp. Lumpia sauce, 10 out of 10 complimenting the crisp. <laughs> <laughs> this is red, folks. Kind of freaks me out. We also have a somewhat thick egg, not as thick as yours. Is it okay? I mean, it's free, so. <laughs> also, like, I do like the blood sausage. But it was when I was cutting into the actual blood sauce, so it was freaking me out. Yeah, yeah. I like a patty. This is so pretty. I know. I, I'm going to hold that for last, though. Like, I don't even want to eat that right now. Okay. Do you want to try some of the blood sausage patty? You should try that. All right, let's do a little swap of How did you bite into this? You stuck your face in it. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's all over your face. Do you get the ube? Isn't it good? The ube is good. I feel like I 
you like have it like everywhere. This is why you get napkins, folks. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try this. I think it's better in the ground form, but it still kind of freaks me out. Still not because I'm seeing the fat, yeah. and that's what freaks me out the most. It's kind of the same thing like a breakfast sausage patty, though. That you'll see like the. Yeah, that's why. Stuff. I'm more of an egg and hash brown girly. Would you like Olympia or two? I might have one. Ten out of ten. <laughs> All right, we have T minus 10 minutes till the Purdue game. I'm gonna take off my nail polish so I can do my nails during the game, or the shower. And then we're gonna chill on the couch. After that strenuous game that pretty basketball is, we're gonna have to decompress and read. This is Remarkably Bright Creatures. One of my friends recommended it. Okay, but to be honest, I actually read probably 99% of my books on my phone, so yikes. But that was a slow morning. In this busy, busy world, it's okay not to hustle. It's okay to sit down and relax and not be productive sometimes. Life will be okay, you will be okay. Now I am going to go decompress because Purdue basketball raised my blood pressure very high and that's not good when I have a family history of hypertension. Um, and we'll catch you next week. Bye guys.